What's up, guys? This is D1B Universe. This is going to be reaction. But before I get to go into your reaction, I want to let you know about something. I've been working on something for a long time. I mean, a long time. I think a good month and a half about it. And since it's Pokemon related, I think it's wise of me and good enough for me to show you a little sneak peek. You ready for it? Here it is. Now it's gone. Have fun with that, and I'll be sure to post it out whenever I'm fully done with it. And I'm working really hard on it, and I'm really proud of the result. It's 30 something seconds long. And you may not sound a lot, but when it comes to animation, nothing ever is. So, with that being said, enjoy the reaction. I just wanted to put that out. Uh, what's up, guys? This is the You Want to Be the Universe. If you're watching this on Thanksgiving, then happy Thanksgiving to you. If you're watch And also, if you're watching this, I'm currently in New Orleans, and I am unable to do videos. So, in the meantime, it is like 2.25 at night, and my bus doesn't leave until noon. So, I'm going to do my best to do an all-nighter here to get as many videos as done as possible. That's why if... I have a consecutive flow of like short videos is because I'm trying to cram in all this other stuff so I can push it out to the end of the day because I've already been lacking in the content department here on my channel and I don't want to give up a whole four to five days of nothing from me. So to make up for that and make sure that it doesn't happen, I'm just going to be doing a lot of stuff that I have currently saved on my computer and just uh, hurry up and watch them, react to them, post it out for you guys throughout the course of the days and so you have something from me. So, it, starting this off is the Pokemon Generation stuff that I wasn't able to watch. Uh, I will say this, the this episode, uh, this short, uh, being, uh, what's it called, The Uprising, right? The up, Yeah, The Uprising. I watched a little bit of it until I got into the camera and then I saw it, it was wigging out like the other times I did a Pokemon-related reaction, so I had to stop it, so I have seen, like, a portion of this. I just know that uh, some weird stuff happened, but I haven't seen all of it, though. Along with, also in this episode, I'm just going to watch the newest one that came out. Uh, I don't remember the title of it, but I'll get to it. Uh, wait, no. The Frozen World. So, this is, I'm going to guess that one involves, you know, uh, Kiram and whatnot. So, we're just going to get started right now. Three, two, one, now. Okay, from what I do remember seeing this, this is just some crazy stuff. Iris is involved. Which I have uh, I have yet to see if she talks though. That's about as far as I got. I don't know if she talks. Cause so far all I got was like gas and stuff like this and giant things coming from the ground. <laughs> I mean like and and plus these guys, these guys, uh, hold on when they when they show up. Uh those in accord with fate are preserved. Yeah. And those who rebel against fate will perish. Team Plasma dudes, the, these guys just stand on top of like the thing that with no ceiling at the top of them. They stand there as the thing is coming up. That's beast. <laughs> when the ways lost, duty and justice appear. One can lose the forest for the trees. I can lose a forest for the trees. I know someone that speaks for them. I'm trying to understand your your point here, guys. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, that is a second mistake. Superior men know what. He's is not right. wrong. <laughs> Inferior men know what sells. I think they're just. Uh, did they rehearse this? Two suns in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. Well, yes, there is not two suns in the sky, but there are multiple stars of which the sun is guy. You know, I'm just trying to be too literal here. I know what you mean, but... Has come. This is the place where we will reveal to all of the land Gensis's glorious plan. The entire Unova region shall be ours! You almost had me there. I thought you were going to say the whole universe, but you said Unova. I was like, oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, that's about where I left off. I did not know she talked. It's cool. <laughs> she sounds... A whole lot, but you don't make any sense at all. Different. <laughs> you know your place, you impudent child. Okay. Tread again. We are gonna stop him. I am on the fence on whether or not I like this new voice better than the voice in the anime. Dig. Good. <laughs> not bad at all, little lady. You, Gym leaders. Cool. Okay. Maybe he's not alone. <laughs> Hopefully you know, so. it ain't just me. 
Good. So sorry. Hmm. See. We all decided to stop by. See, if I was good with names as I wish I was, I would be like, oh my god, it's and this. But I'm not gonna attempt because I know I'm gonna get them wrong. Don't you know that would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do? Hmm. I'm pretty sure that was Leaf Blade. We do everything that we can for the sake of each and every Pokemon as well. This guy's like, who needs Pokemon when I can actually fight? <laughs> hey, but at least he has a bear tick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Razor Wind. This dude is Jax! <laughs> oh, okay, when you when you command uh, dragons themselves, I would pretty much think you would. The hacks are pretty cool. I empathize with some of what you say, but I cannot ever forgive you. Pokemon Generation anime is so far. Just... Everything else. Yeah, that's a that's a nice line, but Getsus was the really one jacking up the old dudes. That we are the true chosen ones. Indeed, we who are gathered here so we can alter the world for the better have been given the solemn duty to change Unima! You shall not interfere with Team Plasma or our king! Well, too bad, because I let's just say I know the future and you guys fail. Twice, sort of. Outnumbered versus outmatched. Who wins? I'm pretty sure the outmatched uh, will win some scenario. Again, I may or may not know the future of this by playing the games, but again, I, me and my memory, I pretty much already forgot like half that even happened. I, I don't even know if this is supposed to be like a thing that we were supposed to know in the game or something that's just cool to see in general for the Pokemon Generation thing, because it has like this sort of thing going on with these shorts here for me. As for as for what what I like to see here. One of the main things I liked about, like, uh, uh, X and Y's, uh, like, like, final episodes involving Zygarde versus Zygarde was the fact that the gym leaders across the region came together to fight off the menace that was going on right now. Because it, gym leaders are the top dogs in the region with the best Pokemon skills of their, of their particular part that they have. And it's kind of odd when this particular region is coming to an end, or even the world even coming to an end. It's odd to not have any of them try to come together to, to stop it. This this is one of the moments where I can say yes, that this is something I want to see from the gym leaders of the region uh, being a part of something. And that's another reason why I really like Pokemon Sun and Moon. The, you, you get more invested into the people that you meet in the game instead of just walking in, oh, he has this kind of character trait, oh, he says this, and oh, he says that, oh, he's kind of hindering my process because he continues to talk while we're not battling or something like that. But in this, when Pokemon Sun and Moon, it, it, it really entices me to read their dialogue because of their personality, because of the things that they do, and all that sort of stuff. And it's great. So while I'm still here, I'm just going to go straight to the Frozen World, which is going to have uh, Kirim, or Kyrim, or Kir I'm pretty sure it's Kirim. I, I know some people that pronounce it Kyrim. I, I, I'm not good with pronunciation, and I'm not even going to argue with people, just going with, with that. Uh, but I'm really hoping before we get out of this generation, we do see N. I would want to see some N related stuff because he was like the main character that I kind of liked in that generation above all things. So, yeah. Three, two, one now. We are very, really close to the end of these, aren't we? That is a huge moon. <laughs> and it's the end of the world as we know it. Okay. Hey, you guys are stealing my idea. I was planning on destroying a city in my comic. Well, not like that, but, you know. Oh, so we went straight up to black and white too, huh? Have him now, 
Dude, he cuts him in four checks! Dude! How does he stand? Oh my god, the animation. It, it just, this is why you gotta love like certain like short animation bits, because they can go all out with everything. It makes it great. Oh my god. The the ferocity going into each and every move really uh, differentiates itself from the actual anime where Ash is in. Because I remember watching po Pokemon Origins. Oh my god. Very. Axorus is kind of like that. Especially if you train him right. Get ready to fire. I love that guy's, like, beard. It's amazing. This approach may be lacking in compassion. You wouldn't but believe you, my surprise where where I, I found that the guy. Power of science to draw out the depths of your true power. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, the story with Kiram that I can remember from the word of mouth is that Kiram is is a part of what used to be one full dragon from. Uh, Reshiram and Zekrom, and thus is the reason why he can fuse with the Gene Splicers or whatever. Uh, but I would love to see like a perfect form with Kirim with both white and black form. It's probably unlikely they're ever gonna do that, but you know, it's guy can hope or dream. It is the proof of my very existence. I need to know his workout routine. Dread, would you be so That's great. kind as to hand over the DNA Splicers? Because if you don't, so that's what you're after. Did, did they explain why they wear such poofy outfits? Kira, you should be capable of so much. How does this, that work? I need. I know it's anime logic, I'll but. I'll have you surpass your limits. Yeah, break break your limits. That's that's the motto in life, even if you're a Pokemon. <laughs> Man, I'm actually, you know, re remembering, well, seeing this. Oh yeah, that just happened. Okay, this reminds me of, I remember this happening. Okay. Yeah. How many people died? Let me guess, no one? I have oh. the DNA splicers. Our operation is a success. <laughs> I've seen what I wanted to see. Let's DNA splicers. now. Jeez. That hair, man. <laughs> that hair just defies the laws of gravity itself. <laughs> like most anime hair, but that one, like, really shows it off. <laughs> Poke I always had this thing about, like, like, the humans in the Pokemon world. And you know how they have Pokedex entries of humans turning into Pokemon, like, uh, like I think it's Alakazam or... Uh, Abra. They just wake up with a spoon in their hands and they're an actual, they turn into an Abra. And certain like that, and how a Pokemon is carrying around the face of it used to be when it was alive. You no, know, those sort of things. But I've always had this theory about how humans are not actually referred, or should be referred to as humans, since there are many instances where humans have tanked, like, things they should not have tanked. Imagine a giant flash freeze ray coming down from the heavens above and instantly covering the entire surface of our, uh, of like, let's say New York, you know, not for any particular reason of Unova, but let's say New York and just freezes everything. And yet you see people just get up and just, they, the, the worst thing that happened is they probably have a little bit of frostbite and stuff like that and gonna catch pneumonia afterwards. Uh, that's bad, but in a flash freeze that froze our buildings, you think we would be frozen as well? Along with other instances where people have been shown to, like, have a flamethrower go into their face. Be shocked by almost, like, maybe 10,000 volts of electricity, if not more than that. So on and so forth. Have a 10-year-old go up to a log, lift it up, and throw it. it these sort of things makes it so that maybe humans are not as human or or they just adapted to this way of life so much that they just evolved themselves in their own human right and now they're all basically like 25% Saitama but whatever okay 
Uh, that's that's just something that's in my head. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. But right now, these shorts, as good as they are, they're about to come to an end. I again, I heard this was 18 episodes. This is episode 14, so we have four episodes left. We just this is probably the only thing they're gonna do on Generation Five. So it's either the next two episodes or the next four episodes in general are gonna be uh, Generation Six because I'm still holding out for like a Generation Seven S thing. It's highly unlikely because, you know, it was Pokemon Generations. Well, you know, the, the title itself actually kind of shows it probably will happen. I thought, it, like, Pokemon Origins, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get the Origins of Pokemon, particularly just the red, blue, and green game series, slash yellow series, that sort of thing. And it, it, in, in this, you're going to get the Generations of Pokemon and the things you probably didn't get to see or see it in a different perspective or see it in, like, a whole other way that you probably couldn't believe and this is one of those moments because i remember a, a, a city freezing in black and white too and stuff like that now again I, we saw perfect zygarde perfect zygarde the only thing that goes in my head i think I, i've said this before i believe i did no no i said this before when i was going when i was doing the first reaction to this and then i saw that my camera was listening up so it's okay for me to say this we got the perfect zygarde thing the t thing that tips me off is that we see perfect zygarde Perfect Zygarde in and of itself is a Generation 6 Pokemon. However, we are not able to get access to Perfect Zygarde until Generation 7, which has been shown in trailers and stuff like that. So, with that being said, it gives me, like, hope that there's going to be, like, an Alola-based Generations short episode. And I can't wait until that comes out because I would love to see... Uh, what these animators do with the Alola region while we see what the animators are doing with the Alola region in Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon, the anime with Ash and stuff like that. So, yeah. And again, I, I forgot to say this uh, full front. The way Hax Haxorus was just going at it with all the other Pokemon and stuff like that really shows the brutality of how these Pokemon actually fight while, you know, the anime in there kind of shows that sort of thing in certain moments. Like, I still can't get the, mo the, the moment that uh, Ash Greninja was just beating the crap <laughs> out of uh, uh, out of uh, the Sawyer's... I can't believe I forgot the Pokemon's name. Uh, oh, jeez. I can't believe this. He's my favorite. How can I forget? Oh, never mind. Sceptile. Sceptile. Uh-huh. Yeah, I literally sat there and let my brain function before I had... To, I was not going online to look that up. And no. All right. So, doing that, it was, like, beautifully animated, and it really showed brutality, and it showed that sort of thing. But this, they, they bite each other's necks and throw them around and stuff like that. It's awesome. And and I want to say, like, when I watched the Pokemon Origin thing, and I saw uh, red, uh, red versus blue, or green to some people, and if you want to go for, like, other uh, ways of saying that... Uh, uh, we uh, the Squirtle versus Charmander uh, fight, and that and that just showed like it was brutal. It was very brutal. So yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about these generation shorts until the next one comes out. So uh, again, uh, this is going to be me just trying to uh, get a whole bunch of things out. Uh, I did not expect this to be 18 minutes long, which is bad because I'm wasting time now. So this this is going to be Universal. See you guys next time.